Good morning, all my beautiful people. I just made myself some French toast, fresh Canadian maple syrup, and two strips of bacon. Well, it looks like two and a half there um, is what I had left over. And I uh, fresh coffee, and I'm gonna go enjoy this. And then I'm going up to the Homey Depot. See you up there. Lilacs are starting to bloom. I see some in there. Um, these are miniature lilacs. I planted some uh, sedum, I think they're called in here, but I don't see any results from them um, on this side. But on the other side, I do. So hopefully they both come back because I'd like to have that fill in. I go up to the Home Depot. The vent, I don't know, maybe an animal got at it or something. I don't know, but I just unscrewed it all. I just was down there for a minute doing this. This thing broke off. So I'm gonna go up and get a new one. I went to go cock the tenant's uh, kitchen and bathroom, but she didn't answer, so make another appointment and get it done when I can get it done, I guess. Anyways, I'm off to the Homey Depot. While I'm up at Home Depot, I see they're starting to do some of the garden center. It's too early to buy this unless you have storage for it. You just gotta bring it in out every night, and I'm definitely not doing that. So I'll wait another few weeks and then I'll go shopping. We'll go take a peek though. See if there's anything interesting they share. Thinking of getting rid of my barbecue because I don't use it that much. It's just me, right? I like it sometimes. I'm on the fence with it. Just taking up space on my patio. Let's see what they have in here. Strawberries and onion. Definitely don't need that. This is exactly why I saved my geraniums for 30 $27 with tax, $37. Yeah, it's crazy, right? When you can just do it yourself every year, it doesn't take much effort. I am definitely continuing to do that. Mine are coming in really good as well. I have Creeping Jenny coming, so I don't need to add that or anything. Let's see what they have for roses. Love the roses. I'm dreading that I have to do this again. The cost is astronomical. Last year I spent, I don't know, four or 500 bucks on this kind of stuff. But um, Rose said she gets the one with the bigger mulch in it, but I've never seen it anywhere here. And I have looked and looked and looked, so I don't know what she's talking about. This is the one I seen at her house, but um, that's the one I bought last year. But it breaks down so fast. She said she's now getting the one with the big chunks in it, but I don't see it anywhere. I've been to like five stores too. Definitely something I need, but I'm not doing that on a rainy day because everything will be all yucky in the car. I'll do it when it's sunny out. Maybe I'll go on sale. I just came to peek because I'd rather be doing this than repairs in the house. Thought I'd take a little peek while I'm here. Uh, I don't know what that, oh, that's uh, pretty. Everything's always pretty, right? Carnations. What are these? These are really pretty. Oh, that's a bleeding heart. It's so beautiful, isn't it? This is pretty. Very pretty. Oh, I like them too. These are perennials too. Anyways, I'm just peeking. I'm not buying any of this stuff today. Taking a boo. Because it makes me feel nice in here. I have creeping time, this one here. And let me tell you, it creeps. I have it in a pot, thank goodness, but it creeped. The seeds fell down below by the garbage cans, but it smells nice down there. So I just leave it growing in between the cracks. It's better than smelling garbage in the summer. Anyways, what are these? Daisies. Really pretty. Delicate. It's starting to really rain. I'm going to mosey on into the store. Um, I'm going to go trip through the one little section. Isn't that nice? What is that? Very pretty. I like the little delicate flowers. I'm looking for what's called a waterfall white flower for my swans. I did plant some, uh, uh, what is it, lupin? Not lupin. Liberia? I don't know. I planted something the other night. I can't think. My head's hurting. I've got a massive headache. I always get a headache when it rains. This is so pretty. Love the color. Gorgeous. Even the white one's pretty. Beautiful. I like that though. 
I've gone down three aisles trying to find this piece, the vent. Um, maybe it's around here. Dryer vents. I was hoping to get this in black, but I don't have it. I think I'm gonna get this fern. I Googled it, it is perennial. Um, I only want one for the shade garden. It's all I'm buying for down there except for impatience. And I'm buying two ferns for the front and then upstairs I'll do my seeds and my geraniums and things like that. So, trying to keep the cost down big time. Last year I overspent a lot. I managed to spend $130 in there as usual. Um, I'm soaking wet, soaking wet. Crazy. Just waiting for it to stop raining a little bit. I have some stuff to donate at Value Village and then I'm going uh, inside the store. Well, I'm in Value Village. That's really pretty if you need a lot of frames. You could even take it apart. It's very nice, $13 or 14, I guess. And if you were doing a nursery, look at these two pictures. OMG, I would so buy them. Like that, I don't like the frame and it's $18, but I like it. It's really pretty too. Let me see it. I like the antler folder here, that's nice. I'm just taking a really quick spin in here. I think it's pouring rain. I think I'm gonna make something like maybe shepherd's pie or something like that for dinner tonight. I feel like something comfy cozy. I can make a small one. They changed the store around a little bit. I see they moved the vases onto this side. This is so cute. Isn't she cute, little bunny? Just think she's adorable. See what they have here? Need for nothing. There's a cute ducky. It doesn't really go with my duckies, but it is cute. And I'm not paying $7 for it because I don't need it. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go look at the pillow shams. I'm looking for two yellow ones or something cheery. Doesn't have to be yellow. Something like that to check out. I have a picture my mom painted and the frame on it's kind of wonky. So I'm gonna look for a new frame too. It's a weird size though. It is because $15 for this tiny little platter. Crazy. Join our team, you love to thrift. Fill out an application. I'd probably be perfect for that. Oh, these are pretty if you had a nautical little thing going on. There's only one of those, but that's really pretty. Very nice. There was two of them, that'd be great. Too bad. Oh, I said too bad, I don't need them anyways. Nice if you had, like, you know, had a boat or something. It would be very nice. This one is pretty princess. $14, okay then, yeah. It's a nice pottery dish down there, that one there. It's big though, and it's $15, but it is very nice. I'm gonna take a quick spin in the pillow department. It's not a good day because weekends are never good at the, vintage, or the Value Village or whatever, but I thought I'd just take a little peek. Nothing in the pillow department. I'm gonna go look at the shams. Trying to find a piece that was um, for my new globe that I got. I think I'm just gonna have to uh, break down and buy the whole thing if I wanna use it. It's a decision I have to make, I guess. Not quite there yet, as much as I like the idea. Not spending $30, $40. If I can put it out in the universe that I need one with a pole chain like that but not that style uh the one that goes on the wall mount i can uh, do this really easy it's always something right that's what you get when you thrift you have to be innovative you only have to use your imagination reduce reuse recycle well i didn't find anything i found a couple little things but i put them back i just don't need it um i came for a purpose and i'm gonna stick to my plan well, it's still raining out. I didn't buy a thing. Very proud of that. I can a quick spend to pick up a few vegetables. I see they're setting their garden center up too. And that's about it. I'm gonna go home and tinker around the house. 
I'm, I might be a little bit lazy today. Feeling a little bit under the weather for some reason. The smell is unbelievable. Look how pretty it is, even though it's all wet. Looks like it's snowing. Well, a couple of the tulips are up and all the rain's gonna make everything grow. I see the creeping Jenny is coming in there. I gotta turn back these a little bit, but they, they made it through the winter. Let me get the clippers out for that. Roses are coming in really good. Love it. I just got in. Looks like I'm having a wedding or something. <laughs> it's pretty. It'll all turn and blow away the next storm. Well, things coming up in here. Bleeding hearts are coming up. Everything is a little messy right now, but it'll change. Okay, I'm gonna fix this now. That was pretty easy to insert. You just pull the cuff out. I just gotta drill it in now. Easy though. That's the new table I got for $7 minus 20%. I haven't done anything with it yet. I think I'm going to paint it out black so it fades in. It stops raining. I'm going to paint all this, give this stuff a little fresh up. Not a lot, just a little bit. This table's kind of had it. I found it on the road anyways. Not really too concerned. My mirror did fall but didn't break. Um, I think I'm going to dig this stuff out and put... This is going to be one of my projects, I think. I'm going to see if it measures right because I have a cabinet I was going to do something with, but I have to make sure that it works first. These hostas are coming. Um, those ones are coming. These are suckers. Um, I don't know what, I know that's a dandelion, but I don't know what that is. I'm going to look it up. I have this here. Let's see. Oh, it's not a sweet potato. I know that. I don't know how that got there. These are all need to be... I need to do some serious weeding out here. And whatever that is, I don't think made it. I don't know what it was, unless there's something underneath coming. I don't see anything. Might have to put something else there. We'll see. That one's coming there. Bleeding hearts are up. This one's just starting and two down there. Anyways, it's too wet to play out here. So I'm gonna go in. It's still raining a bit. Not too, too much. I did buy this fern for here. It's a perennial. It's called uh, Kimberly, Queen Kimberly or something. And I have a hosta that's growing over there. But that's all I'm putting in this area. I'm done with this area. It smells so good out here, guys. So good. I was just chuckling. I was reading some of my comments and answering them. Some Karen, and I will call her Karen because that's who she was being, uh, made a comment that I picked this up and turned it over to see the price or the the label maker or whoever. Anyway, she made a comment. You should not You should have put the lid back on because now someone's going to think that there's no lid with it and they're not going to buy it. Well, no, I bought it. And yes, the lid did fall off. And if you watch my channel, you'd know that I actually organize things in the thrift store. So I just kind of slammed her. I am so done with people's rudeness and comments. I am not gonna tolerate it from anybody. Anyway, it's just the comment, and it just sometimes, you know, I don't say nothing. 99% of people are beautiful. Then you get that one, and yes, she's a Karen, and I'm gonna use the word loosely. And sorry to all my Karen followers, because I love you. Karen, Kelly, whatever you wanna call her. But it just irked me today, and I thought, is it a full moon? And then some other ladies like, Oh, your sister's kitchen's ugly, and what an ugly color. And I'm like, I would love to see their kitchen because their mind is ugly. And who are you to judge anybody's home? You know, you're not better than anybody else. Anyways, I'm just venting because sometimes they step over it a lot, but those 1% of people that just come on and make comments, I got no time for. Anyways, I'm going to end this. I don't, I'm not looking for anybody to comment to me about this either. I'm just voicing my opinion because it peed me off to no end. 
So there you go. I hope Karen's listening and she's going to see. There you go. I bought it. Even though the lid fell off. Isn't that amazing? This is a full grown woman. You know, she was one of those bullies in school or just really unhappy with her life. I just watched back the video that I recorded and I was going to take this off, but I'm deciding I'm not going to. And please, all my regular followers, I love you. Just voicing that I am not allowing rudeness on my platform because I'm not rude to anybody. I am not having that kind of a platform and nor do I want those kind of people to follow me. And yes, I'm upset about it because I'm just done with people being rude to people all the time. They're so unhappy with their own life, they look for faults in anybody else's. And if that's all you have to do, you really need to dig deep within yourself and find forgiveness to all your hatred. To make a really quick chicken pot pie, before I left, I put some chicken in the freezer. The only thing I don't have is celery, but I'm just going to use onion, some thyme. I used a little bit of bacon fat, and I got a piece of skin in there. A teaspoon of bacon fat. Um, I'm going to put celery seasoning in, because I don't have celery. A carrot, some frozen peas, a fresh carrot. I cannot stand frozen carrots. And then I have some chicken that I had frozen, and I'm going to make this with a puff pastry because I'm being really lazy and I'm going to do it simple. I'll make a roux after I saute this. I'll add some garlic, some salt, some pepper, that kind of stuff. Added a um, piece of a carrot, a small potato, a garlic, um, half a red onion. White one would probably be better. Just using what I have in the fridge. And I have my frozen chicken that I've been defrosting for a little bit. I'm going to add a dab of water of that. And if I have some chicken stock, I'll use that instead of water. I'm going to go check the pantry. My chicken's still a little bit frozen, but I'm okay with that. I'm just going to uh, saute it really low. And I'm going to make a roux with some butter, um, flour. And i got to go see if there's chicken stock. Uh, I think that's it. Throw some peas in there at the end. I have some, thank goodness. Just gonna put a little bit in there and saute it down for a little bit. And then I'll make a roux. I just have it on low because the chicken's a little frozen. Just gonna add a little more pepper. And I added some fresh thyme. Take my puff pastry, which is frozen. I'm gonna cut it into cubes all the way along. And then I'll layer it like that so it puffs up really nice. Yeah, I just cut it up into little cubes. You don't have to do that. It's just how I like to do that. You could just do it as a sheet, but I like it a little crispier. And then I do about half a cup. I put a little more than that of peas. I'm going to make a roux and then add about a half a cup of uh, whipping cream. High fat cream. A little bit of butter in here and a little bit of flour and make a roux on the side. I just sprinkle it in that, brown it off, and then I'll add some more chicken broth. So maybe a quarter cup of butter, a flour, but I'm going to cook that down. Cooked my flour off and I added some more chicken broth. And I'm going to add a little bit of cream now. I think a quarter cup, no more than a half, that's for sure. Then I'll add my fresh peas and it's done. Spin it down, add it my cream. I'm going to add my peas. And I'll just wait till the peas are done, and then I'm going to put the puff pastry on and transfer it to the oven. I'll probably do an egg wash on top. Got some bananas that were, you know, a few days old or whatever turning. I owe Rose a loaf, and I'm going to make another loaf for the freezer. I gave everything away at Easter, so I'll stock up a little bit again. And I'm not doing that tonight, though. I'm really tired. I'm going to close this video for now, and I will talk to you guys all later, and I'm going to go eat my chicken pot pie. It's coming out any minute now. I just took it out. That's pepper and some um, dill that I put on top, so it's not burnt or anything like that. It's really hot. I'm going to let it cool, and I'm going to go eat. I will talk to you guys all in the morning. I have enough here to feed a, a feast. So I guess I'm eating this for a few days, and then... I don't know. Maybe my girlfriend wants some. I'll phone and ask if she wants to pick some up.
I um, ran out of dill and I went to go buy a bottle. I think it was like $11 for a small bottle of it. So I bought the fresh stuff and used what I needed. And now I'm drying it out and I will have enough to make like five bottles once it's dried out for $3 rather than $10, $11. Drying for a couple days now. I'll just leave it alone. I just cut it all up small. It was, I'm gonna pick out the these, of course. It's waiting on my pot pie. I'm not even hungry after I made that. I had uh, French toast for breakfast and that was around seven o'clock. It's now quarter to five, but I'm gonna eat probably around six o'clock. I'll let it cool. Made way too much, but that's okay. Looks good. I'll let you know how it tastes. Well, it's really yummy, but it's really hot. Loves guys, see you in the morning. Good morning, all my beautiful people. It's about 6.15, 6.20 in the morning. Just making some coffee, looking at the beautiful cherry tree. Still in bloom, and my plum tree's down there too. It smells so beautiful when you open the windows up in the morning. Oh, I just love it. I wish it would stay all year round. I actually love the cherries, but there's just too many of them, and it looks like a crime scene when they start to fall off. <laughs> it gets real messy. Plums, not so much, but the cherry one. She's a big tree. She's pretty big. Having my coffee and sitting here in my new chair, and I'm deciding what I'm gonna plant today. I have so much stuff to get ready, and I was gonna go rent a big power washer, the gas one, with the compressor, but they don't have one anywhere near me for rent. They have a small one, so I might have to settle for that. Hey, my little friend. Good morning. How you doing? Oh, there you are, peekaboo. She's back. There you go. I see you coming closer now. Come on. I'm gonna come out and see you in a little bit, okay? It's only 6.20, guys. I just transplanted my spider plant to get them ready to take outside in a week or two. Um, I put this one on the front porch and it's just funny how there's so many babies on here. I took a bunch of them off because there's just too many. Like, look at them, they're crazy, they're everywhere. Um, I could transplant them too, but I'm not gonna bother. I don't need another spider plant. I have one on the fridge as it is. It's a little better now that I did that. It, it just does so well in this window, but it does really good on the front porch too. Clean the whole bedroom, change the sheets. I'm gonna move into the living room and clean up that. I'm pulling out all the stuff for the gardens. It's all washed up and pressed. I have to press a few more things, but most of it's done. And I got a pile over in the corner over here that I'm collecting for my project. So I'm just trying to get little things done around the house here today. It's overcast, a little rainy. So it's a perfect day for this. I need to wash my windows in here. I got a lot of stuff to do. This is the picture my mother painted years ago. I got it out of the frame, but the frame's really wonky. I am gonna try to sand it and maybe just put some rub and buff on it or something. I was hoping it was gonna fit in here, but it doesn't. Not crazy about that picture, but. Um, I could get it to fit, but I'm taking away a, a lot of it and I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna try to fix this one up for now. And maybe one day I'll find one. I'm gonna make some croissants. I buy them frozen, they're just amazing. And then you proof them and put them in the oven. See, they just come out beautiful, don't they? The sun's shining in, so the lighting's a little off, but they're really nice and they're yummy, yummy. Great for a brunch or if you're having people over or something. Well, it's raining out and I was gonna go get the soil from my car that I bought and um, do my seedlings. I have everything prepped. I just gotta go downstairs and get it. I'll wait till it quits raining. But in the meantime, I can't find a frame this size. I believe it's six by eight or something. It, well, I'm looking in the thrift store too. And it's not a great frame and it's had its moment. And I just took a piece of a sand block to it to scuff it up a bit. But I did buy some rub and buff while I was in Los Angeles this earlier this year because they don't sell it in Canada anymore. And I'm just gonna try to rub some of that on. If it doesn't work, I'll keep looking for a frame. I do want to frame this. My mother painted this years ago. Gail, it says, that's my mother's name, with a little spaceship. And we had a collie dog and she had little girls. So I don't know which little girl this is, but my sister gave it to me because I don't have much of my mother's art. 
and it's so cute. It would have been cute in Courtney's nursery. Anyways, I'm going to do that, and then I'm probably going to close this video. And yes, I did vent um, about one of the ladies that made some rude comments. Well, there was a couple, actually. And I'm just sorry about that, but I was going to remove it, and I'm not, because I'm just being me. And sometimes I'm not perfect either, but I'm definitely not going out of my way to be rude to anybody. But... I am not going to tolerate it either. So I'm going to rub some gold on here. I bought the antique one. And I'll show you when I'm done. Because I kind of need to have another hand for this. You know. I put a plastic glove on. But it goes a long ways, a little dabble. I'll show you in a minute, okay guys? You know I love y'all. And yes, I vent. I'm just like everybody else. We have our days. But I don't vent on people's platforms ever. Well, it's a, not a nice frame, but it definitely made it look a little bit better. So, we'll see. Um, it'll do for now. And I have another frame that's too gold. I showed you guys earlier. I'm going to rub a little bit on that while I have this out and make it a mess. You know, might as well do it all at once. I am going to close. I think my daughter leaving for St. Lucia today. Or in is in St. Louis. She's in Miami last week. She has quite the life, you know. Um, we've been to St. Lucia together before. I hope she enjoys herself. It's a beautiful island, a French island, and um, they make the best macaroni and cheese you ever had. Different than what we're used to, but very good, and they make really good barbecue chicken. Anyways, I will chat to you guys all later, and I love you all. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'm going to grab the other frame and buff that one up a little bit and rub some gold into it. I don't have a project for the other frame, but I definitely don't want it that yellow gold. I like the antique gold better like this. And definitely I'm going to look for a, a better frame for this. But in the meantime, I get to hang it. And as long as it's got a little bit of that antique look to it, I'm, I'm happy. Show you the results in a couple minutes here when it dries. And like I said, it's not a great frame, but it'll work. It's got um, rub and buff on my phone. Yeah, anyways, I'm just taking this yellowish gold off. Not my favorite kind of gold. And I'm just going to rub a little bit on here and change this up a bit. Don't have a picture yet for this, but I'll find one eventually. Don't know where I'm putting it. I just really like the ornateness of the frame. As you know, I like ornate things. I'll show you when I get it done. Isn't that a cute picture? I just love it. I broke a hole through my glove, so now I have the golden finger. Way better that it's not so yellow gold. There's a little bit close to the picture, but when I pop that out to change it, I can rub a little bit in there. I'm not gonna ruin the matting. I'm happy with that. And like I said, I am gonna close this video. It's getting long. Love you guys. I will post the picture of the little girl in the, as soon as it dries. Just having fun on a rainy day. The picture deserves a much nicer frame, but for now, it'll allow me to hang it up. And this one turned out pretty good too. Loves everybody. Have a beautiful day. And I'll see you in the next video. I have, um, as soon as the weather turns, oh, I see a bee on the cherry tree. Isn't that good? That's a good sign. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked as usual. I got so many little projects going on, but I'm going to clean this all up today. Get this stuff done so I can start working outside a little bit more. See you in the next one. Definitely on the hunt for a pretty frame. I want an ornate one for it. I just put it there for today. I don't think I'm keeping it there. Lori gave me a beautiful one on my birthday for there, this one. And I like it a lot. But I just wanted to show you it hung up. Pretty princess. Sexy times all the time. Ciao.